What is good, Josh? I'm Dusul Game Man. Back in with yet another reaction video, baby. And today, we're back with some more Diana I could do Nova. It's a man's world. Wanted to go ahead and check this out for you guys, man. You guys seem to think this was some heat and fire caliente, and I wanted to bring more of our music back to the channel, man. Make sure you guys still show that interest. And if you are brand new to the channel, you haven't already from the previous ones, make sure you guys go back on the channel, watch some of the reactions I did, and like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Me, from my reaction to the video, man. Let me know any other videos that you want your boy to do, and we'll definitely go ahead and jump straight into it, man. So, we already know what we're expecting with this. We've got octaves, we got octave range, we got uh, the now comedic factor of, of how uh, goofy she can be with dancing and stuff like that. I think this is just like a cover in the background, so I don't think it's actual video. So, in today, we're just gonna listen for those vocals and see if this is top tier vocal heat, or we're gonna be on something else, man. I don't know what to expect with this one, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Конечно, конечно. This is Man's World. Я ее не исполняла после проекта. И сейчас я хотела бы ее исполнить на свой, так скажем, и ваш страх и риск. Но мы с вами попробуем. I love how she's saying let's try as if like she ain't about to just kill this. <clears throat> Especially when you've done it before. I like you saying, oh, let's just try it. Like you ain't about to kill this, man. So, and if you don't know, the original song by James Brown, it's an old, old, old school song. So I know she's about to kill this with her own spin and twist on it. But I'm gonna still be looking and comparing it to the old one. This is a man's world. This is a man's world. Yeah. I would be nothing, nothing, nothing. Can we just say too, like, I'm gonna give you a quick pause and you already know how I do for copyright, but. If I had to pick a woman to cover this or voice over this and remix this, it would be her, bro, because she has that lower tone in her octave that that can actually still make it like not even take it up to another octave and like change it. Because I feel like if you take it up to another octave, you gotta change like the the song a little bit. But like keeping it in the lower octave, she's the only one I know that can do that, but still have the opportunity to go up high near the middle of the song when tensions start to get high. So I think I would definitely pick her to do this. So. What they say, by every strong man is a stronger woman. Come on now, you already know how the teamwork goes. Y'all see how much energy she put into this too, bro? Like it's it's showing more of her goofy side a little bit, bro. She laughing while she's doing it. She's having fun. The little head swivel going into it, bro. Like I feel like she's getting more and more of her personality in these newer songs that you guys are bringing to my attention, bro. Like I'm seeing, I feel like I'm seeing a different Diana I can know. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, okay. I like it. I like the little little cover of It's a Man's World, bro. Especially sung by her. I think she made it sound really, really good. She put a lot of energy in, like inner I almost said energetic energy and was just energetic with the song and just having fun with it. Like she wasn't taking it too serious. She was you know worried about hitting you know upper octaves, making it really crazy. She was just having fun with it, letting it be light, letting it be bouncy, moving around while she was doing it. A real performer. 
watch his performance in front of a live uh, little crowd here. Not sure how many people are out there. It didn't sound like too many people. It's like maybe she's doing just like a little, not like a charity event, but like just like a little personal concert type thing. Uh, but she definitely did didn't kill that one. And we can just talk about the lyrics for a second. You know, it's not her song, right? Well, every strong man is a strong woman. And isn't it crazy how we build all this type of stuff and we do all this stuff. And this is why I think money is so crazy. You know, like we do all this work to make money, to go spend the money for something else that somebody else made. And they take that money and spend it on something for somebody else made. And low key, the money can end up just circling back to you because that person is buying your stuff that you made. Don't it seem like the world could run if there were no money, if all we do is grab it and spend it? If all we did was just give stuff away, just build stuff for free? I mean, yeah, there'd be no point in doing it, but what's the point in making money if you're just gonna spend the money to buy something that somebody else made and they're only doing it because they need money to buy something? So don't it seem like the world could function without money? I don't know, let me know your, your thoughts down below. Just the way that money just comes and goes, why not just, I don't like the old ways, like where we just traded for stuff. Like here, bro, like I know you want, you know, six chickens i got i raised six chickens i got like 12 chickens so here i'll give you six chickens because i know you're hungry let me get that uh let me get that car i need to drive downtown <laughs> like oh look here's a here's a whole plate or here's a whole container of mac and cheese that you know, i just cooked this morning i know you're hungry but shoot i really need some gas to go ahead and get you know to work so i'll show you this plate of mac and cheese for a full tank <laughs> you know <laughs> like stuff like that like oh bro you ain't got no shoes uh, on your feet man i got a whole shoe collection i'll trade you a pair of shoes but I really need a new chain. I see you the chain, man. So let me go ahead, let's go ahead and swap. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that, I think it happened without money. But let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. As far as the song though, I think she definitely killed this cover. Great vocals on the lower octave on that time. Didn't really see her go up too high, but I think it was more so just showing her personality through the music video, man. So let me know other videos you want me to check out of her. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed me, the video, my reaction to the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. It's been your boy Shot Too Smooth, aka Buckle Kage, Black Avatar, and King Leo. I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. I'm gone. Peace.